Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is another unboxing uh, video. I know I haven't done an unboxing in uh, quite a long time, but we have Star Wars Outlaws for Xbox Series X. Uh, there is no Xbox One version; it's strictly next gen or you know current gen. Uh, yeah, look. I love Star Wars, as you guys probably know. I've been waiting for this game for quite a while. Um, there's a few downsides to this, but uh, th this is the first quote-unquote, uh, you know, first open-world Star Wars game. It's not. That's a bold-faced lie by <laughs> Ubisoft. Uh, we've had the Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and you might be like, oh, well, those are hub worlds, right? Those are planets. This game also has hub worlds and planets, but I think these ones are a little bigger. I'm not sure. Again... I'll have to play it. I don't think I'm going to be doing a, a full-on, uh, you know, gameplay because I have school. This is, I didn't even pre-order this and I got it. What's this? Uh, Kessel Runner Bonus Pack the Trailblazer. Okay, so K-Vest, the main character, you get K's Trailblazer cosmetics, so like, you know, skim for your ship. And then you get a speeder cosmetic pack as well. Um, and then this is just talking about the season pass coming out. So there's that. Uh, there are two discs, which I don't... I don't know why. I know, like, some games do have two discs if they're, like, really friggin' big, like Red Dead 2 uh, or GTA 5. I don't know why, but it should be fun. So there's the two discs. Again, on the uh, front cover here, we got K-Vest, Nyx, her little buddy, the Trailblazer ship. I don't know the droid's name. Um, and then you got, of course, uh, on the right, you have Kajimi from uh, The Rise of Skywalker, which is great. You gotta love sequel trilogy planets. And, uh, yeah, there he is. We get a shot on that. Perfect. No. Kinda. And then some uh, unknown planet on the left. Uh, it's rated T for violence, mono language, and simulated gambling because you can do Sabacc. Uh, it says 60 FPS. I'm probably going to go with quality mode at 30 because I heard that's more consistent. Uh, and you got K shooting there. The galaxy is full of opportunity. You can explore it uh, in open world, uh, you know, different planets. Uh, build your reputation, reputation among criminal syndicates and engage in dogfights as you travel the Outer Rim. So this is basically a full-on massive open world similar to the Skywalker Saga. Uh, in the Lego Star Wars had more planets, but I think these are going to be bigger. Again, I'm not going to be doing a, a series. Sadly, I want to, but I got homework. I got school, so I, I can't do that. But I will be filming a video soon once I play enough of it to kind of give you guys like my first impressions. Um, the, the only negative with this is that you do need internet. It's the internet required to install the game. I don't think you need internet to play it but you do need it to at least install it because if you heard they had that whole early access debacle on playstation so get that going and uh, yeah it should be a lot of fun i'm not a hater of star wars i think all star wars is good i think star wars is freaking awesome i i don't understand the hate for it uh renew the acolyte you know all that i'm all for that uh but this looks fun it always looks fun and i'm excited to try out star wars outlaws for uh, series x again i'm gonna have a video in a little bit a few days maybe kind of make a little video on what i think so far um no spoilers of course just my you know, first impressions. But yeah, man, I'm freaking pumped. I can't wait to play this game and explore the planets. So yeah, make sure to tell me down in the comments what you think about Star Wars Outlaws, if you're going to get it, and what console. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. That's Nick's. Kind of ish. I don't know.